Hello, how are you? Welcome to my kitchen on my side of the mountain. I'm Chris of Christie's Over the Mountain Crochet, and today I want to show you these adorable towels that hang on these crocheted towel toppers that have a pumpkin cluster edge on them. I have a tutorial on how to crochet these pumpkin clusters. I have the crochet pattern for this towel topper is on my website. I'll put all links that you need in the bottom, but this little towel topper concept is fun. A lot of these cute little kitchen towels you can get at the Dollar General or at the Dollar Tree or Family Dollar or even at Joann's and at Target, sometimes they have a mirrored image on these towels. So one side will have gather and the exact opposite side will have gather too. So when you hang these towels using this towel topper, the concept, the best concept of this towel topper is to put it offset on one corner and then the towel hangs on a bias. And it's such a nice treatment because you have a large towel to grab hold of, a large piece to um, dry your hands or to use, and they just look so cute. I like uh, pairing them up in, in, in three, having one print simple and then maybe a busier print on either side. I made these with my um, Lemon Farmhouse series. I made, those were my first towel toppers. But now this would not look good hanging on the bias. If we were to add this to the corner and it were to hang on the stove on a bias, it just looks, it looks a little odd because the gather is so upside down. So I also will show you a treatment on how to add this to the back. And what you do, I'll just go over this briefly. It's not optimal. I don't like this treatment as well. It doesn't hang as nice. This just hangs so nice. Doesn't hardly change. People can grab it and work, mess with it and they stay the same. But this one isn't the best. So what you would do in like a few inches from the bottom on either side and then you pin it to the back, pin it to the back and then you work the towel top over and through and then it hangs and it's just not as good of a treatment. Let me see, I believe I have one of those towels. Yes, yes, I have one of those towels here. This is pinned actually. But you can see this is a mirror print also. Let me show you the larger version. This works well on a bias because it's a mirror print with tossed, um, with tossed artwork. And what I mean by that is the pumpkins are tossed around. Sometimes the sunflowers are one direction and another direction. But this is a mirrored print but it is so busy that it also works on the bias if, um, because that is what I have hanging here. You can't tell that the major some of it is upside down. So this, this tossed print works very well with the offset corner, with the, with the towel topper on the offset corner. It, and it also works well if you put the pumpkin topper on the very bottom of the towel on the back of the towel, not on the front. The uh, offset corner, you put the towel topper on the front of a corner. And this goes all the way across the back. Oops, it came unpinned. I want to do a live demonstration of how to sew this on, so I apologize for the pinning, but I'm going to show you this real quick so that I can move on to the uh, live demonstration on how to do that. So. You've pinned it across the back. Then here's the rest of the towel. This towel, you, it works best if you pleat it the best you can. Have it busy. All right, so this is the front. You carry it to the oven. Let me move these over the out of the way. And you put the end up and under the back, just like that. And then you feed it through the towel topper. Like I said, this is not optimal. I'll show you in just a second the offset corner and how it works. 
this is not optimal, but if you have that one-way print, like that gather, this really does work nice. It's just not as, um, as neat, I don't think. And there's a bit of looseness to it. It doesn't, I don't believe it hangs as nice as the bias, but you might like that better. I'll show you how to do that in the video. Let me take this one off and show you the offset corner. So again, this tossed, busy, busy tossed mirror print um, uh, towel does look nice when the towel topper is sewn onto the corner. This is how it looks. See, this is a very busy tossed print and it looks really cute on the, on the oven handle. So this is how the towel is and you sew the towel topper four inches down you measure four inches down and then underneath and then you sew it on and then you tuck this corner in, tuck the corner in, and then I'll do this on my lap as easily as the best I can. Then you turn it over, tuck the corner in and turn it over and you want everything to be flat right there. So then you just start rolling the edges in. This is the edge so I just keep rolling, rolling, rolling till I get to the end then I roll the other side up until I have a pointy, I have a pointy package here of a very pointy package. So I carry it to the up front of the oven or the front of the fridge or wherever you're wanting it to be. You hold, hold your towel, the long tail, put it up and under, come down over and through the towel topper. This is my favorite treatment, just so you know. I just think this is beautiful. Looks really nice on a plaid. Looks really nice on that plaid or a gingham check. Then you just mess with it a little bit. And there you go. That was easy and that is fun. And those towel toppers are quick. I have a lot more ideas for more towel toppers, uh, crochet towel toppers. You could crochet <laughs> towel toppers and get talking so fast. You can do this with fabric also. Um, but it was good to have you on my side of the mountain. I'm getting ready to head over to the uh, table to video how to sew those on, give you the measurements, give you the ideas, and I'll be back in just a minute. So let's get started adding this pumpkin cluster towel topper to this mirrored image towel. So we start by turning it over. We're going to use the towel, uh, the tag end. We will use our measuring tape and approximately four inches. We place a pin on either side. Then we take the this edge of the towel topper and we place it underneath the pin. And let's just go ahead and use that pin and we'll pin that in place. Then we just bring this on over. Go ahead and kind of bunch it up how you'd like it to look. Place this second edge right under this pin and pin it in place. So then all you would do is either hand sew or sew with a sewing machine this, um, these edges in place. Everything else is loose, but that creates an opening. And just as in the video, you gather up the ends. I think the print on this is so pretty. So we'll start from the outside edge and just accordion pleat it, straighten it all up, make it a nice, neat little package. And then just as demonstrated, you would take it to the oven or the fridge handle, bring it around the oven handle would be in the middle, and then you would feed it through just like in the video. And hopefully it hangs nice and neat and nice and pretty. It looks like this will be just fine. I don't really like the hangy out on the back. I'm not sure what to do with that. I think that looks a little messy when it's hanging. 
And if the kids pull on it, it's going to distort a little bit. But this is a beautiful towel, a beautiful treatment for this towel. Just don't think this is optimal. Let me show you how to make the optimal uh, do the optimal treatment. All right, so we have a mirrored print in this. One side is upside down, one side is right side up. So we're going to take the, the end that has the tag and we're going to use that as our marker as to what to do. So, but let's go ahead and cut the tag end off because it gets kind of, it can be irritating. This corner is where we're going to place the towel topper and we place it to the front of the towel not the back. All right, so we measure four inches down on each side, on each corner, four inches, just as a guide. You could do five or six if you wanted, but I think four inches is best. I really don't think five or six would be appropriate for this size of a towel topper. So then you take this edge We'll go ahead and use this and pin it in place. And then this edge, sorry, I had a gnat. <laughs> I was trying to kill a gnat. And then pin it in place. All right, so there we have it. Next, we sew this in place, either with sewing machine or hand stitching. You don't need to see me hand stitch that on. Okay, so we're trying to save some time. I have one that is already sewn on. Both edges have been sewn on. So I tuck this corner in, tuck it in, then turn it over. Remembering, this is the crochet towel topper right here. You're gonna have this one corner up and one long side. And you can see I'm rolling and I roll so that it's even with this point. There we go, see, even with that point. Then I start rolling this one. This one kind of rolls independently for a few minutes. And then when it starts catching the whole length, I just roll the whole length until it all kind of comes together at the bottom and I have a nice pointy package. This is the topper up here. I pick this up just like this, carrying the point. I carry it to the oven. I place this in front of the oven handle. I run this up under the oven handle and down through just like I demonstrated. And pull it on in. Pull it through. So easy. So fun. Nice treatment. You mess with it and fluff with it. I love this pumpkin cluster stitch. I've also made a coaster in the, and added those to the pumpkin cluster stitches. And I'll have all links below. It was really good to have you on my side of the mountain. It was good to have you in my kitchen. I don't like But I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. I hope to have more towel toppers for you. I love that offset corner, that bias straight that the towel gives. And I hope to see you on my side of the mountain soon. Give me a like and a subscribe and tell me what you think. And if you make any of these towel toppers, I would love to hear from you. I would love to see you post your photos in the group page, Chrissy's Over the Mountain Crochet and Crafts on Facebook. We share a lot there. I hope you'll stay in touch. It was good to have you. Bye.